Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets. I'm Marky Mark, and today we're going to be looking at the Jackery Explorer 1000 Power Pack. And crucially, we're going to find out can you boil a kettle of water with the 1000 watt power pack, and how long does it take? Let's dig into this. So as the name suggests, the uh, Jackery Explorer 1000 has a 1000 watt output under steady state conditions. It can surge up to a higher two kilowatts of power, but only momentarily. So when you turn a device on, the average must be 1000 watts or under. Now the problem with using a kettle with this device is that kettles are often around 3000 watts, three kilowatts. Um, but if we're going camping, I want to be able to boil a kettle with this thing. It's such a great device, but having a kettle for a nice cup of tea or coffee is a real large part of the camping experience for me and my family. So I had a look around on Amazon and found this Quest one litre kettle. And it's a low watt kettle. It's um, AC powered, but it only draws a maximum of 1000 watts. So let's plug it into the jackery with some water and see if it works and then also see how long it takes to boil a liter of water all right let's fill it up Yeah, we've got just over a litre of water with the Quest kettle. We plug it into the jackery and then turn it on. Okay, so the kettle's off at the moment and we're drawing five watts of power. We've got 47% left on the jackery. So let's turn the kettle on and see, firstly, will it start powering or will it trip out the jackery? Let's turn that on. Oh, and we're at over a thousand watts of of power here 1051 1049 but it's staying on that's great obviously we've got no power going into the jackery but it's supplying that 1000 watts to the kettle so let's start off the stopwatch and see how long it takes to boil this kettle Still going, no sign of tripping out, so that's great. So we've already uh, lost the percentage of power. So the Jackery Explorer has 1,000 watt hours of power, about, of storage. So if this is drawing 1,000 watts, that means this would run if it was fully charged for one hour powering the kettle, and then it would be fully depleted. So now we're down to 45%, we started at 47 so it's definitely using up the juice of the jackery. Is it boiling the kettle? Right, let's go into a little bit of time lapse now and see what happens. Okay, that's three minutes gone. We're down to 41% now on the jackery. Still supplying that power, 40% now. So still supplying the uh, thousand watts. I could hear a bit of noise coming out of the kettle, so something's happening. Let's time lapse again and come back in a, another minute. Definite signs of boiling here. Steam coming out. Six minutes, 37. And we've clicked off, we're boiled. So that's six minutes and 43 seconds. Got a fully boiled kettle, over one liter. So that's uh, fantastic. Decent sized mug as well. Big love. I'm really impressed with that. 
That's fantastic. So we're down a 33% battery now. Started at 47, so 14% uh, of the total capacity used to boil that kettle there in six minutes, 43 seconds approximately. Say around seven minutes. I think that's a pretty good result. Let's put some milk in. So it just shows that the, the Jackery Explorer 1000, while you feel it might not be able to power the biggest devices, for me, a kettle on a camping trip is a uh, is definite prerequisite. And being able to do it with the 1000 really raises it up into a really useful bit of camping gear, I think. Um, so stay tuned for more videos from Camping Secrets. I've been Marky Mott. I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing more of these uh, reviews. Cheers again. Bye.